Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We've been talking about Bitcoin hash rate a lot and how fast it'll recover. And I've given like approximations, but we're going to take a more mathematical approach to um, when exactly will it recover and what I think will happen to the price. Now, I do think in this case, price will follow hash rate. You can see hash rate has started to go up again, but price really hasn't reflected. There's going to be a lag time of maybe one or two weeks. Sometimes uh, it goes both ways. Sometimes uh, hash rate follows price. Other times price does follow hash rate. Um, and that's just like how it works. Like I think like when Craig Wright did his um, whole hash war like two years ago or two and a half years ago, I think they were like pretty much consistent with each other because hash rate immediately went down and then price went down as well. Pretty much at the same time. Sometimes uh, like in April, May, it's a hash rate's a lagging indicator. Other times price is a lagging indicator of hash rate. So they kind of follow each other. So um, since it's actually started to go up right now and price hasn't started to go up, I'm going to say that hash rate's going to precede price this time. So looking at the mathematical concepts, from we hit a low of 84.79 tera, million tera hashes on July um, 2nd. So, but right now, the latest data is from July 14th where we are at 90, 100.775 um, million tera hashes. That means over the course of 12 days, we gained 15.98 tera hashes. So 12 days plus 15.98 tera hashes. Now, at the top, we were at 180.66 million tera hashes. So from 180.66, to 84.79 terahashes, we dropped roughly 95.87 terahashes. So based on that, 12 days, we gained 15.98. We have to gain 95.87. You do 12 times 98.87 divided by 15.98, and you get a full recovery of around 72 days if it goes at this slope, uh, at, at the same rate it goes now. And you can see like from... Uh, previous recoveries, a lot of times it does actually recover all the way up at the same slope. This time, I don't think it will, and I'll explain that in a while. Uh, but but uh, previously, it was roughly 72 days to regain uh, the top hash rate. And then you got to think there's going to be a week or two delay before prices catch up. So maybe um, a week or two after the top hash rate, prices will uh, exceed 60,000 again. But 72 days from the bottom of July 2nd, means September 12th, September 12th. So if you add two weeks onto that, end of September, roughly September 26th, September 27th, we should be at 60,000 again. I don't think this time it'll be quite that fast though. Even though mathematically we should um, regain at September 12th, the, the reality is that, um, you know, like when they kicked all the miners out, they, China basically like almost kicked them out all at once. And China still accounts for maybe 40% of the hash rate. So they're going, to get, they're going to continue to kick miners out. So there's going to be downward pressure on hash rate from that angle. Now that's going to be countered by the upward pressure of these miners moving to other countries like Kazakhstan and Russia specifically. And, uh, and those miners coming up will be greater than the amount that China kicks out. But since there's an, an adverse effect on it from the other side, uh, it's going to make it uh, quite a bit slower. Plus, not all the miners are going to move because it takes a lot of money to move. And they have to get everything, you know, like all the contracts and everything straightened out first. So my guess, like September 12th is probably not going to be the um, date that we recover. I would say like more like October 5th to October 12th would be the date that we finally recover. And then you add about two weeks buffer time. You get around October 20th as kind of the date that maybe prices will become 55, 60,000 again. That's what I'm looking at right now. If you took the pure mathematical look, it would be September 12th. But, um, and then like prices recover around September 26th. But if you really give a buffer time in reality, because it takes so much money to, move all that stuff and get all the contracts straightened out, plus not all the miners are going to move, plus China is going to continue to kick miners out, you would get around maybe Octo maybe a month later at around October 10th, October 12th, with a price recovery around October 25th. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. 
But if you're optimistic and you think it's going to be straight up math, it's going to be September 12th for the hash recovery. So that's my analysis. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.